I always said that I would like to grow old gracefully. I thought that when I was 44 that I would look like Mary Kate Olsen, but I don't. And I was always kind of dismissive of, you know, surgery and I always said I'd never have poison injected in my forehead well anyway I did I decided that I would have a little procedure I have two very very deep furrows beneath my eyebrows and you could plant potatoes in them and it makes me look like I'm always very annoyed and very disapproving so I thought you know they say it's easy you know and they say that you'll never know and that people will just say my word she looks like she's cheered up a bit so i went off to a place and they were like oh yeah no bother grand yeah we'll put restylane in between your eyes you'll be grand well i look like mary kate olsen and they said no you won't or maybe you will you never know let's see how it goes now it alarmed me from the beginning because the woman who was doing me was chewing gum and she wasn't really looking at me and she was taking calls on her mobile and the whole thing was a bit too casual and she puts loads of stuff on me and it was a local anaesthetic and i thought why would I need a local anaesthetic? Isn't it painless? And she goes, uh, yes, uh, yeah, uh, chewing gum. Uh, uh, painless, yes, indeed it is, but this just makes it even more painless. And she starts injecting. It was really painful, not painless at all. So she hands me a mirror and you could see all the stuff that she had injected underneath my skin. It was like a bump like a baby unicorn, but perched right on the very front of the bump, where the furrows, where you could plant the potatoes, it was still there. It took a week for the, the baby unicorn thing to go down. And then when it went down, I was just left with the furrows again. And nobody thought I looked like an optimist. And nobody thought I looked 20 years younger. And not one person said, you look like Mary Kate Olsen.